Welcome to RVing with the Maracas. This is our latest RV hacks video. Today I will give you a tour of some changes we have made to the interior of our Thor axis. Joe will show you the Sumo Springs we had installed, his fix to our leaky awning, and more soundproofing insulation underneath the front of the RV. First, this is our new couch. We replaced our original couch because we needed a bit more space underneath due to the installation of our Battleborn batteries. We covered the wood with this nice fabric that matches our interior colors and used this futon that we had as a cushion. Our niece Michelle made us this beautiful quilt and gave it to us as a gift after we purchased our RV and we love using it in the living room area. We raised the couch about 4 inches and this allows us to have a better view out the windows when we are sitting on the couch. Next in our dining room we installed this small shelf above the table. We tend to have many things on the table when we are glamping and the shelf allows us to see the clock and thermometer easily. In the kitchen, I have added many command hooks to hang things, such as potholders and towels. I also use these clothespins to hang towels and other wet items that need to dry when we're traveling. We hung this paper towel holder in the kitchen also. The hooks really help in this small space. In the bathroom, I replaced the original shower curtain with this more colorful one. It is smaller and appears to give us more room in the shower. We added this shelf using command strips for our bath items and added more command hooks for hanging wet items such as towels and swimsuits. Near the sink we installed this shelf using command strips for more storage of bath items. I love the new unicorn bath towels that I found at a craft show in South Florida. We added some artwork of these beautiful hummingbirds and cactus. The artwork was done by our cousin Lauren Stangill. She is a very talented artist and we will leave a link below for her website in case you are interested in her artwork. I hope you have enjoyed seeing the small changes we have made over the past year. Let me know your comments and I would love to hear about the changes you have made in your own RV. One of the most frequently suggested enhancements to a Thor Axis is getting Sumo Springs. We already had the Safety Plus and the anti, new anti-sway bars, so this was the third piece of the trifecta. We um, contacted Sumo to make sure that we were getting the correct rear springs and bought them on Amazon and I didn't feel comfortable installing them to myself so I had somebody install them for me. He charged all of $80 for the installation, which was well worth it. I don't have the jacks to be able to jack up the front and the back to, for the amount that you needed to be able to install the springs. He did a great job. After a few months, we noticed that the seam of our awning started to leak more and more. And it was really annoying because if you were underneath the awning, you were getting drenched right along the RV. After some discussion on Facebook, the idea seemed to be to use Eternabon tape over the top of the seam. So I did that, and I used 4-inch Eternabon tape along the whole length of the awning. And so far, that has worked really well. And we just went through a rainstorm. In a previous video, I showed where we insulated the dog box area above the engine. And now I wanted more protection for both heat and sound, so I bought this other material and went up underneath the RV and just covered as much of it as I could. Uh, after testing it, I think I'm going to buy one more box of that material and double up and try and find any spots I missed, and I think that'll really help. Thanks for watching today's video. Sorry we missed last week, but life happens. We look forward to your comments. Be sure to subscribe if you are new to our channel, and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. See you next week.